Today I have the Castle Art Metallic Pencils 48 set and they come in this metallic tray just like their pastel set so from the tray the trays are made the same uh, also inside you have actually um, also the same booklets but also there is something different for example this is the swatch the swatch is really identical like the one we saw uh, in the pastel set and as you can see here you get a list of their uh, colors and in which sets they they are um, contained and this is the metallic set underneath there is a pastel set and on the left side is the gold set of the 120 colored pencils but also you see which colors come in oil tubes in gouache tubes and so on and so on <laughs> the nice thing which they what they always do is they give you like a small instructions how you can paint something and in this case they've put the uh, instructions for the this tiger that they've made i hope you can see it sorry for for the light and they also uh, give the suggestion of the colors that they have been using to achieve this And of course there is another book inside with some again instructions suggestions what you can do with the colored pencils which ones you can mix to get some other colors and yeah i do have to say the intensity of the colors is more or less like this what you see here on the on the screen i have tried to make a good picture to show you that they are not so opaque but the problem is when the light hits the paper in some certain direction then it they look brighter than they are but i think that this time in this booklet the colors more or less correspond to the real ones so when we take a look at the colored pencils they actually look the same as their original uh, 120 colored pencil set because they have the black barrel and that silver line and they also have as you can see here they have the metallic engraved on them and on the other side they have the color name and the color number so i'm going to do the swatch now and i will do that on the black paper and also i will take a couple of colors which I will then swatch on the white paper just to see how they look also on the white paper.
So here now I have the whole swatch of these metallic uh, Castle Arts colored pencils and I do have to show you something that if you swatch these ones, I did not swatch all of them, I just swatched uh, like random couple of uh, these pencils and if you look at them they look like normal colored pencils. Uh, maybe a couple of them had some metallic shine, but these two, for example, they had uh, sparkle particles inside and that is what you can see. But for example, the orange one was just like orange. It had nothing at all. No metallic shine, nothing. But here you see those sparkle things. Yes, so there are sparkle particles in some of these colored pencils. Um, if we take a look at these, um, how they look on the black paper, I hope you can see something. It is always difficult to show these things when you have black paper because of the lightning. So all of these ones with this point, I've tried on the white paper and you see that they are shining on the black, but on the white paper, they just look like normal colored pencils. And if you want, I can compare them uh, because that was the only pastels, uh, metallic set that I have. Uh, that is the Derwent metallic set. This it's here and the colors, Yes, they are more vibrant. The ones from the Durant Metallic set are more vibrant than these ones, but I still think that these ones come close. So there are a couple of colors, like this one, it is bright and it looks almost the same as this one. So this one is, is the brightest one from all of them. So also I think, let me just check this one. Yes, these two can come really, they come really close to each other. Um, the biggest difference is, for example, when you look how these ones, these are the Derwent metallic ones, how they look on the white paper. I did not like them because it is not what I like to use. Um, but you can definitely see that this is colored with something metallic and not uh, your normal colored pencil. So maybe this would be really nice for maybe even for some leaves or cars, of course, for cars. I just do not like, like how it looks on this uh, flower because it just looks like some... No idea. Uh, it's not really my taste. I. I think I'm not really a metallic pencils person. But I wanted to show you the difference. Maybe I, I should, yes, let me just put a couple of colors here from the, from the metallic set. So I just took a couple of, of colors just to see how they will look here. Uh, do I need... Yeah, they look almost all the same. Maybe I should have picked another one. Let's try with these ones. Just want to color and show you how they look like.
Okay, I just scrambled something, so it's an, <laughs> I did not really try to color a lot, but um, these are the Derwent metallic ones, and with these ones you can, no matter from where you look, you can immediately see that there is something metallic about these ones. Um, it really depends which color you, you use, because these like really purple and uh, like almost black color, they are not metallic, the other ones are, or shiny, so it's really some a little bit of mix, so... Like you have to get that position, but there are, for example, this one and this one, which have those shiny particles in them, and they, that is noticeable, that you can, um, again, not when you look directly to it, but if you move it a little bit, you can see some shiny particles, especially here. These two have those shiny particles, as you can see, so that looks nice. And I think I've exactly this one also. This should be the gold one, it's not really gold. So I think, I don't know, all in all the set is not bad. Um, if you like and want to try these pencils, as I said, on the black paper, more or less they are all uh, nice. Some are not so opaque, but they are still uh, nice metallic colors. On the white paper, the ones that have those shiny particles actually do quite look nice. Um, because they have those particles inside. But for my taste, I will stick to the watercolor paints because I really love how vibrant those ones are, no matter which paper you use, white or black. So I'm definitely sticking to, to the metallic watercolor. But you have to be careful. These shiny particles are actually now all over my paper and they are all over my hands. So do be careful when you use that because it is falling off and like going everywhere. So um, I will just not judge this because I do not, my personal, I'm not gonna uh, judge them too much because I personally do not like metallic uh, colored pencils. I thought maybe this could help you to see how the colors are, um, <laughs> let's say, not so, they are, they are vibrant, but not so opaque on the black paper. So, for example, this is the Faber-Castell Black Edition. I hope you can see. Um, they are close. When the light hits them so that's the thing when the light does hit them and they're on the black paper these metallic colored pencils they actually look vibrant but when you do not have any light shining then the colors are not so vibrant not so opaque and the ones from the uh, black edition faber castell are definitely much more intensive I've taken this picture with my phone without the light and I think this represents the reality. The lower colors are the Durant Metallic and the upper part are the Faber-Castell Black Edition. So just that you can see the difference in vibrancy. So guys, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!